morning guys and welcome back to Gaza's Koi Pond. As we saw in the video last week, I uh, prepped my fish and kicked him into spring. And I think, we've, uh, if I spin this camera around and let you have a quick look, give me one second. We can pretty much, uh, pretty much say it's looking a lot more like spring this weekend. And the majority of this week that's passed by so far, it's Saturday morning. And uh, the sun's out, and the job and the fun's about to begin. Um, I just thought I'd show you a couple of food bits and bats. I had my birthday the other day. Kids got me uh, customised because it's Koi Pond mouse mat. My wife, um, mother-in-law, mother -in got me a nice big coffee cup. Passionate about koi. Shout out for a channel if you exist. If not, there's a good name for a channel. But uh, I have been keeping a bit of an eye on my cubensis. No, it's not koi related, guys, but fish related all the same. I'm not 100% sure if this little lady down there is on eggs yet, but they are certainly showing signs of breeding. Uh, I might just pop in a little couple of clips. If not, I'll do a separate video and see if I can get these, uh, catch these guys spawning. There's the male. They were, they were dancing to each other quite a lot yesterday. There you go. Oh, perfect timing. He's, uh, he, he, she's been displaying to him now for about a fortnight and he's not paid much attention to it at all. And now when she comes near him, he's displaying to her and she's displaying to him. And they both keep going in and out of the cave. So, hopefully, with a bit of fingers crossed and a bit of luck, we, uh, we might get some fry from him. So... Right, let me spin the camera back round. So guys, what we got planned for today? Well, my plan is, I have a few bits and bats to get done in the shed. I'm just gonna make use of one of the old dog towels and I'm gonna give that to myself for inside the shed so that we can uh, have something to dry our hands on because we will be getting wet today. Well, my arms will be anyway. I'm gonna get the, uh, the pond vacked out Filters cleaned, and I might be bowling up a few of these fish and uh, having a quick look at them. Um, some of the ones that I want to move on, and some of the ones that I might just be giving away or whatever. There's nothing in there, guys, that is spectacular. The reason for why I wanted to remove them on is now I've got one or two nicer fish. I would like to uh, get a couple more, and I've got the growing show coming. I've got one fish coming from Vince. So I need to make room for a few and I want to upgrade the quality of the fish that I've got. Not because there's anything wrong with them, because if anything there might only be a slight bit of koi pox, but not a great deal. But uh, it's, as you progress through the hobby and you buy a couple more nicer fish, you suddenly realise that your other fish aren't up to the same kind of quality. And that doesn't mean that there is anything wrong with them or that that's a bad thing. They are perfect pond fillers and if anybody's interested, please feel free to uh, to let me know they're just not what I'm looking for in my pond anymore I also have this little guy down here in the little pond spare me one second I'll spin the camera around you also have the little guy down in there you can just see him a bit of a sun glare on top there yeah just started off but I also have that one down in there so what really what I want to do today and get done is to uh, Excuse the noise there, my neighbour's cutting his grass. Um, is to get these sorted out and get them uh, water changed. And a few bits and bats like that. So I'm just going to get the shed opened up. Once I've got the shed up and open and the uh, plan's underway, I shall try and get some footage of it for you. And I'll let you see what we're up to. I'll get back to you in a bit. Right guys, so what I've done so far is I've uh, given the pond a bit of a back I'm going to just let it settle down a little bit, topped it back up a touch, but I'm going to be taking my pump out because it's absolutely filthy and there is a little bit of uh, blanket algae that I've separated up everywhere by back in the bottom of the pond. I'm going to give it another quick back up, clean and tidy, and then I'm also going to take that pump out, give it a clean, and the circulation pump and give that a clean, make sure that there is no bits of muck and stuff inside it. The other one is, if you have a look in there now, you might notice that there are a lot less fish. 
and one little tiny fish has been introduced. The uh, koi that I decided, or well, I've been saying I were going to move on, I told my dad he'd get first refusal of them all and he's decided he's having them, so they've gone. The Yamabu Kyogon, the uh, the Chiba, um, two low quality shushuis, shushuis, should I say, and one other one which was a Doutsu, um, not 100% sure what it was to be fair, a Doutsu of some sort of description. It's the one that I got from the uh, the fish shop when the owner um, netted it up and tore its dorsal. So there's nothing wrong with the fish in any way, shape or form other than the torn dorsal fin, but I don't want fish of that grade in my pond. So we're getting some new fish coming. New Yamabuki Ogon and the show fish from the Balding Reefers Growing Show. And then obviously my new fish from Vince. So I've removed seven to replace three. And I've also put in my, let's see if we can get him on film here. Let's see if we can catch him on camera. I've turned the garden into a bit of a mud bath. There's he gone. Somewhere in here. The little Asagi fry. There he is. Let's see if we can get him. His fins are going nice and uh, nice and orange. I'm going to pick him up to have a look at him. The underside of his uh, belly is going nice and orange now. So he's been moved in with the big guys. And we'll see how he, how he does. And if he don't come out special, it's nothing major, only a 40, 40 or 50 pence fish when I got him. So we'll see how he does. Anyway, I'll snap back to you in a bit when I've got this pump out cleaned up and put back in and the filter system, or the remainder of this these little bits down here vacked up and cleaned up and then uh, I'm going to get the other pump out just top the pond back up again get the filter system cleaning job done so let's get back to unity everybody seems to be doing a lot bit better the pond's got a lot less fishing it's having a good clean out just got to get my filter out now and sort that out but uh, I got my Doutsu Chag my Benny Ginga coming in I'll see if I bang a bit of food on it, see if they'll come up so you can have a look at them. There you go. Pond's looking nice and crystal clean. Once I've got a filter running again. See how they do. Well guys, well guys that's taken me all chuffing day man. From half past nine this morning till whatever time it is now, 10.30, whatever. I thought, sod it, let's give the few fish that's in there now a little bit of supper. I finally got the filters up and running. My ultraviolet I think has been chewed through by a mouse when I went to change a bulb. It stripped all power out to ours because it blew. So, what I'm a pond's looking a bit scarce now. There's not so many in there now, but what's in there is nice. Um, might have to uh, get my filter system sorted out now, guys. A little bit sooner than what I wanted to do. Well, not sooner than I wanted to do, but definitely needs doing. So there you go. Late night supper for the fish well morning guys this is the uh, morning after Sunday morning it's about 10 past 7 just getting ready to set off down to go see uh, Jack and give him an hand with his shop build but this is the morning after yesterday's absolute nightmare guys you won't believe it it was if anything could have gone wrong it went wrong yesterday 
it was crazy. Basically, what happened was I give the pond a good clean out, filters a good clean out, everything a good sort. Well, let me spin camera around, let you have a quick look, one second. You'll see it with me first time. Right, so there we go. First of all, there we go. Okay, absolutely. Mark's all over it, oh, Prince, it's absolutely soaking wet through, but it'll come back. That's not, not to worry about. So what happened is I give the pond a real good back out. As you can see, the pond grew and crud everywhere. So what I did is I give the pond a good back out, and in doing so, I clogged up the pump first of all. So I had to take the pump out to get that cleaned up, which then obviously started cleaning and filled in the pump a heck of a lot then. Which in turn clogged up the filter barrel with blank out, uh, blanket weed. So that completely clogged up. It was coming out um, coming in faster than when it was coming out and I couldn't stop it from overflowing and overflowing under to the secondary foot a bit that sits underneath this rock here. Once I finally took all this apart, got it all cleaned out, give it a good service, probably really needed it anyway, but give it all a rinse off, hence all the reason why the garden so we went through. The next thing, all of a sudden, all the power, the power turned off to my house. I thought, what the heck's going on? My little mouse friend, Looks like he's done a bit of damage to the cable down there. And <laughs> yeah, so the transformer to my ultraviolet, which is underneath there, has got mouse damage, so that needs to be replaced. But the main thing is, it's running, ultraviolet's not on, pond's nice and clean. It's nice and clear, which is surprising to be fair. I got a little bit of lily growth coming back there. I'll go the bottom of that one there too. And the fish numbers reduced. So as you can see, first few gone. My dad's taking them. I did say I'd give him first refusal and he won't refuse them. So I've moved over the little you can see him just down there, the little side of my Spoke them up to the side where I start water area that's splashing. See if we can get a shot of him. Oh, he's coming out there now. Okay, that's the size of him. There's a little uh, baby Asagi fry. And when I took him out, this is probably a bit. A bit of a look at him. I could see that there was uh, a lot of orange coming to his underside. All his fins are nice and orangey red. So he's got a little bit of scaling patterning coming to his top. But he's only tiny, obviously. But let's see how he does in there with the with the bigger fish. He's certainly cruising around with them. I mean, he's, he's no more than three and a half inches, is that? But, that was yesterday's disaster. So, apologies that I, I mean, the last thing I was doing was backing out the pond where I said I will uh, make sure they get some. I mean, there you see the back pipe there where I've been flooding it out and flushing it away. What I did say I was going to do was try and get a bit of footage of it. Well, that wasn't happening when it were. Old battle stations trying to stop the pond from overflowing from the filter system. I started the project yesterday morning at about 9 30, 10 o'clock ish, and I finished last night at 10 30. So, straight continuous all the way through. Almost up to bang on 12 hours messing around with pond. Now, obviously, ain't nobody going to be sitting around and staying around in the channel or in the chat for 12 hours watching them. Let's 
So I guess uh, we uh, did what we had to do. Not very good for the entertainment side and the footage side for you guys. Not that watching me flapping and panicking would have been a good fit. Well, it might have been for some. Some might have enjoyed it. But to all those that would, I'm not. Uh, I'm not for making myself look an idiot on YouTube. Bad enough that the uh, the whole project went bad as it is. But hey ho, it is what it is. It's done. Pond's clean. Bottom's nice and clean. And as you can see, there is one little piece of uh, bull reeds, whatever you want to call them. That's dropped back in. But it definitely needed it, guys. It was absolutely rank. The blanket only was going like crazy. And it wasn't until I started backing it that that then became a problem. The blanket algae just clogged everything up. Well, you can see it there. It's on the surface underneath the... Uh, imagine that, but 50 times worse. It was absolutely everywhere. But it's done now. So numbers reduced. So we've got the shellfish coming, got Vince's fish coming, and I've got a new fish coming. That's it then. No more fish. Seven gone, three to return. So and that's me. I'm happy with what I've got. All of them are looking good. Like I said, a couple of car pops on them, not much, no major on anything. The chag is almost completely healed up on his nose, which is not bad to say it's done that through winter period. So, what parameters and qualities have been reasonably good, or otherwise that wouldn't have been heal healing up, and that would have turned into some kind of uh, nasty, but it didn't. So, anyway, let's spin the camera around. Yeah, so what a disaster when it uh, when you don't want it to go wrong and it all goes wrong. It was I mean I was sat out here complete pitch black, shed lights on, working away half past nine at night, boom, all power tripped off, and I was changing the bulb on the UV. I hadn't noticed it wasn't working, and as soon as I started messing around with wires. That was it, bang, tripped all power up. So something obviously not right with the UV. And with the new filter system coming, I will be getting a new one in the shed anyway, so I'm not bothering asking about with it to do anything more with it. Ideally, as long as I keep up on the filters and I get my uh, blanket treatment in once it gets above 10 degrees, then I'm saying get my blanket treatment in. The majority of it's gone, but it's some places about this le about this long, but it was about this long. You know, a good three to four, maybe six inches in some places. But if I get the blanket answer in, we should be good. So yeah, the little guy has come out from in here, in the uh, little pond. The other one I've got now, which is a bit of a a bit of a problem. I'll spin it so you can see. This is, uh, one second, yeah, this is a bit of an issue, I can no longer have the fountain running because just down here it has cracked the box, now looking at it, it looks like I might be able to bond it back together but I might do away with the waterfall, just make my own, can't be that hard, a little bit of a return, so now there's just the three Fancy the Blackmore goldfish, the two fancy goldfish, and the two Sarasa comets in there now. The other big little, I'm saying the other little fella, has now been moved over to the big pond. So, I'm going to sign off from this one and kind of sign into another one. So, it's a bit of a weird one. This is me saying goodbye from Gaza's Koi Pond up here in Yorkshire. If you've enjoyed the content, guys, please do us a huge favour. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. And technically, I'm going to be signing back in and welcoming you back to Gaza's Koi Pond in another hour and a half or so when I've drove down to uh, Stoke-on-Trent. So, <laughs> till next time, guys, keep smiling. Catch you in a bit.